Another Pro Football Hall of Fame class and another year of Mike Shanahan getting snubbed. This morning, it was announced that former Steelers and Lions head coach Buddy Parker, not Mike Shanahan, not Dan Reeves, was the sole inductee from the from the coaches and contributors category of the game into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. So this means that once again, we're going to have to wait another year for Mike Shanahan and Dan Reeves to get into the Hall of Fame. Now, obviously, I'm of the strong opinion that both of them deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. Dan Reeves definitely deserves to be in there at some point. He should have gotten inducted before he passed away. But this video is going to focus on Mike Shanahan because the fact that he wasn't inducted into the Hall of Fame several years ago is just an absolute crime against humanity. First of all, Mike Shanahan, with 170 wins and 138 losses, is tied with Tom Coughlin for the 13th most wins as a head coach in NFL history. Now, I understand that it's different eras and Mike Shanahan coached in more games, but Buddy Parker won 104 games and lost 75. So Buddy Parker, yeah, has a higher win percentage, but Mike Shanahan, again, he is in the top 20 for most wins as a head coach of all time. That has to say something on his own. Also, from his time as an assistant coach and his time as a head coach, Mike Shanahan is responsible for three Super Bowls. Buddy, Buddy Parker only has two championships under his belt as a coach, so that's also an area where Mike Shanahan has the leg up. But also, Mike Shanahan is still contributing to the game of football to this day. You come over here, guys. We're going to take a look at Mike Shanahan's coaching tree because this is just absolutely insane. Come here and take a look at this, Broncos country. So 15 of Mike Shanahan's assistants have gone on to become head coaches in the NFL or the NCAA. That goes on to include guys like Gary Kubiak, Anthony Lynn, Troy Calhoun, Kyle Shanahan, of course, Sean McVay, um, Matt LaFleur, Mike McDaniel. The list goes on and on and on, guys. And on top of that, man, Mike Shanahan's offensive scheme that he evolved, the West Coast zone run scheme is widely known as the Shanahan scheme in the NFL. It's widely utilized by almost, I'd say, a third of the NFL. This scheme is still being evolved by guys like Kyle Shanahan and Sean McVay, Mike McDaniel, but the basis of this offensive scheme is what Mike Shanahan implemented. That cannot go without stating here. Mike Shanahan is still contributing to this game even though he hasn't coached in 13 years. That's insane to think about, guys. And the fact that Mike Shanahan has not been inducted into the Hall of Fame already and his, rec and his contributions have not been recognized, it's just a gross misjudgment. Now, again, man, I this isn't to detract from Buddy Parker as a head coach. He certainly had a very respectable tenure as a head coach. And Dan Reeves, he certainly deserves to get in as well. But Mike Shanahan should have been in the Hall of Fame five years ago, ten years ago. And his resume only continues to speak for itself so god it's just ridiculous man and i'm hoping one day the nfl hall of fame selection committee finally wakes up to mike shanahan's massive contributions as a head coach in the nfl all right broncos country be sure to leave a like on this video as well as subscribe and ring the bell and let me know guys how do you guys feel about mike shanahan getting snubbed once again from the pro football hall of fame all right guys and until next time this has been another episode of denver broncos syndicate i am your host gage madrid saying peace out